Hey there, everybody. Good Monday afternoon to you. Welcome back to Felsbrin. I am Farmer Min. It is a, uh, it's a dandy day here. Bacon and I are just playing around the yard here, checking on the animals. Um, 1744 in the evening. Hey, Bacon, get off the roof for crying out loud. What are you doing, dog? Man, oh man, Bacon. I tell you what, that dog, he loves to go on the roof. Here, have some food, Bacon. There, have some food, Bacon. Good bacon. Anyways, the um, silage has all been sold. Uh, that job is complete. We are up to 147,000. I was hoping for more. That's not as much as I was kind of hoping for. But it's okay. It's okay. We can make do. Um, David has been busy fertilizing. He's done a lot of fertilizing contracts for us. So that is absolutely outstanding. And right now at the moment, he is down here on field 10 with the uh, harvester doing a contract so i got to get down there i think he has a full um has a full hopper so i got to get down there with the uh, tractor oh don't fall off the edge here with the tractor and the trailer and we will we'll empty him and whoops it was already starting whoops careful come on there you go tractor there you go bacon be careful don't run off the cliff stay off the roof too bacon for crying out loud man um pigs the sheep they are good well they are somewhat good uh sheep are real good the pigs well the pigs need corn. The pigs need corn, and I was hoping to make $192,000 to um, buy that field. So I don't know what the deal is, what we should do, what we should um, tackle here. Um, we're doing this contract work because it's 11,000 bucks, and there's some good money in it. So that's what we're trying. We're trying to raise the uh, the bank balance a little bit. There's a combine up there, David. He is hard at work, I tell you. Um, so with that said, we still own field. 30 is it and I'm not real interested in um, doing some more silage doing some grass work I'm, that just doesn't really turn my tractor um, so I think we're going to turn around and sell that now the whole concept here was that we would not uh, borrow any money and you know quite frankly we really don't have to except that um, well we need corn we need corn field 11 is um, is right up here that little corn field and I'm afraid if we don't act oh the bucket's if we don't act fast, um, we will we will miss out and we will lose it. Um, so, here's what I'm thinking: uh, we go into the bank. We do owe 195,000, um, but that is because we had the money from Field 30. So Field 30, um, we can what? Why do we have more than the? I thought all we owed was. The value of the did I have to buy? I can't remember now what the, what the heck's going on, but we're gonna sell field 30 and we're gonna get that hundred eighty thousand dollars back, and then we're gonna go in here. Well, we'll have to just um, just take it out of our money, but we'll just have to pay off this. I don't want any loan, no loan. So we're at one hundred thirty three thousand. Um, field eleven, that cornfield there was one hundred ninety. What was that? Puppy? Uh, let's get back in here and take a look. That field eleven has corn in it. Twenty one. Well, we can look at some prices here. 11, um, 192, 21, 21, but I can't do 21 because I was, that's not going to, that's going to go against my rule. I'm not going to do anything that I've already done before. So I'll fill the 11, 192,000. Um, the only way we can do that is I keep doing some contract work and hopefully that that does not get harvested by the time we're done because the one we're doing now, um, uh, I'll show you the one we're doing now is going to pay, uh, 10,115 plus maybe we'll get a little extra with the soybeans. So there is that possibility. Um, just keep doing some work and get up to 192,000. Um, uh, or we can just borrow the money, buy it, and then, um, pay it back here when we finish up some contract work. David, David, you will find out any job. David, you missed a spot there, buddy. Uh, just keep going. That's good. Um, so... We'll have to wait and think about that. We have some other we have some other interesting news um, here on Felsbrin. Um, to be quite honest with you, we are on episode number 37. This started off with Golf Cart Jockey and I go up right up on the mountain. Then we had the uh, server problems, you know, with the multiplayer on uh, the PlayStation. Yeah, we had some problems. So then we kind of, I kept it going. We started doing this. So, and then we moved. We built a little mountain farm up there. Kind of nice. I like it. Um, but... I think it's I think it's kind of run its course. I mean, it really has run its course. Um, 
I could keep going, keep going, but you know what? When you just, um, you know, 37, 37 episodes into it, I've kind of done everything that I that I wanted to do. Then we you know we done cotton, we done silage, we done grass work, we've done uh, trees, we done we planted uh, poplars, we uh, planted trees, harvested them. I mean, we kind of done everything, and I could just keep going to the grind here, making some money, or I could do something something interesting, something a little different, um, and that is going to start tomorrow morning. It might be a little, might be a little strange, but hey, you know what? Um, we'll give it a shot, and then hopefully, down the road here, we get some um, maps out for console because, like I said, I love doing uh, PlayStation maps. Uh, they are my um, my favorite, even though you know the PC, you get a lot of kind of, you get a lot of cool stuff, and it's it's, it's really is interesting. And we're doing some stuff over there too, so um, like Marwell Manor, and then uh, of course Mercury Farms, which is out, which I already have, so that's kind of. Um, Kind of one of the things that might be uh, interesting about tomorrow. Um, I'm trying to think. And then there's some other ones too, but um, we'll wait for a good one and then we will um, fire this, fire the uh, PlayStation back up. But then again, the, the thing that's going to start tomorrow will we'll, we'll involve the PlayStation a little bit. So um, that's kind of interesting. So I think with all that said, long story short, I'm just kind of blabbering my mouth here. Um, we're gonna finish this up here today. We're gonna finish this. Um, oh, you're already you're already empty. Um, hey, don't dump the soybeans on my cab. Come on, man. Um, we'll finish up this contract work here, and then I think we will buy field 11. That is kind of over. Is it right? No, it's over there a little bit. No, it's right next door here, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's right next door. Let's go take a look at that, and um, we'll get the corn off of that because we need the corn for the pigs. But then everything's kind of uh, self self sufficient. We you know we we um, we don't lose money every night. Uh, we don't have any loans, so we don't lose money. Um, we actually make money with the uh, solar panels that we got up there. Um, we got sheep, we got pigs, so we are kind of set here. I mean, we could just you know keep farming, and then add on a field here, add on a field there. But field prices are you know the nice ones are expensive, um, very very expensive. And then, of course, with this new opportunity, we got to go take advantage of that. So, yeah, this is this cornfield. So, I think what we're going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make an executive decision. Wrong button. Um, this, 192000 So, I'm going to borrow. Well, oh, I don't need to borrow that much. What am I doing? Um, whoops. 60000 So, 60000 That'll be sufficient. And then I can uh, purchase field 11 and we will buy that puppy. There we go. So, at sixty thousand dollars, which we we do some we do some field harvesting work. Um, we'll get paid from this one, and then that'll be paid back immediately. Hopefully, yet tonight. So, uh, David brought down the uh, the corn header that is parked over there. So, as soon as he finishes up this contract, um, we will get on with this uh, this corn harvest. I think right here. Yep. Right. Whoa! Crap! Don't drive in my new cornfield. We don't want that. I suppose this guy doesn't want me to drive in a sugar beet field either. That wouldn't be good. I kind of got myself into a pickle. They always say, you know, when you drive, um, never put yourself in a position where you have to back up. We kind of have a rule on the farm like that, you know, when you're uh, moving machinery around, you know, either filling it up or whatever. Never put yourself in a position where you have to back up because um, you can hit things. <laughs> and I'll be honest with you, uh, there's been a lot of things that have been hit on the farm. I mean, we've had sugar beet harvesters into semis. We've had... Uh, what are you... This... This is going back to this header thing. This um, Roscoe Mash header on the uh, Massey Ferguson combine. Maybe I'll have to make a change there too. How much do I, how much is my header worth? Um, 41,000, well, a little bit more at the store if I trade it in. And what could I get for 41,000? Um, the Massey header is 49,000. It might be, it, it might not be a bad idea. Well, we'll have to think, maybe think about that too. Um, anyways, we're going to wrap up this uh, soybean field here, and we'll see what time it gets to be, and how much money we end up making, then we can pay off the bank. And like I said, every hour here, we'll have a little bit of income from our solar panel, so um, life is good here. Hope you're all having a great Monday. Yeah, the weekend's over, the new week starts. Hope you're having a good one, um, and we'll see you here after just a little bit.
mentioned uh, the the uh, relationship between time and darkness. Holy God, it's pitch black again. Uh, the nighttime has crept up on us, and uh, we are still we are still thrashing away here. As you can see, I did I, that. That header was just causing so many problems. I went down, I got rid of it, and got the uh, massy 25 foot header. And as you can see by the bank balance. Um, it ended up working okay. Uh, basically, we got rid of that one and got this one and didn't um, didn't really cost anything. Uh, as you see, 5957000 It's 5955 bucks. As you can see, just the, by the hour, um, our uh, solar panels made us some money. So we're not doing too bad. Plus, we're going to get... Uh, this one's a little over 10000 bucks. Plus, we should get a little bit of a harvest income from that, too, as well. So that is absolutely outstanding. I don't know what the prices of soybeans are off the check. We're gonna we're gonna empty the combine here, and then we're gonna head to the uh, sell point and deliver our first load of soybeans for the uh, farmer on this contract that we are doing. That is absolutely there. It goes. We got another notch dark again. I tell you what, it's uh, it, when it when it wants to get dark, it gets dark in a hurry. There's no question about that. Um, so far, so good though. We're gonna have to start our corn harvest tomorrow, I think. Um, by the time we get done with this one, it might be just a little bit too late. Oh, keto, that's full. Let's see. Where do we have to take this, um, Port Southwest, I think. Port, or no, Port Southeast. So that's way down here. Port Southeast, right down there. So go down there, take a little trip. Um, take a little trip down to the Port Southeast then. I guess that's what we have to do. That's our only option. Um... So once we get this done and get our field, our combine, oh God, I can't talk. I got about talking problems like Elkhart Jockey does. Um, whoa, stay out of the beef field. Holy buckets. Um, for, whoa, stay out of the... Well, send me a bill. My bad. I apologize for that, local farmer. Um, I don't think he's going to hire us to do any more contract work. Um, like I said, I need brighter lights or moon. I need a moon to shine here or something. Um, crying out loud, is it dark? Uh, what was I saying, though? Um, oh, yeah. As soon as we get this done, and tomorrow we're going to do our um, field 11, our uh, our new purchase, our first field, and get the uh, corn harvested off of that. That'll go to the pigs. And then I think the pig should be set just for a little bit. We will have to um, probably, what we'll have to do is turn around and put corn right back into that field. You can do corn on corn. A lot of people in my neck of the woods, they do corn on corn, or they do corn, corn, soybeans, um, something like that, which is okay. So we can get corn planted back into that uh, field, and which kind of makes me think now, we don't have a row crop planter. We don't even have a planter period for crying out loud, do we? No, we don't even have a planter. Um, planter, a seeder, nothing. 
We might have to lease one uh, for the time being. We might have to. Oh, I'll, skip, I'll go over here. Um, might just have to lease one, I think. That might be um, what we have to do until we can afford to buy one. So I'm not going to. Do I want to turn here? I'm going to turn here. Uh, oh, safe sidewalk. Whoa, hey, Jeepers. I'll tell you what. Um, I was just about to say that. Uh, driving that cow to the store and back, my driving has improved, but I think it's gotten worse there. I blame the nighttime. I blame the nighttime. And then I also blame um, Giants for the uh, making my driving worse between FS17 and FS19. Because I was not this bad of a driver, to be honest with you. I, I took pride in my driving, but look at how freaking dark it is, man. It's like pitch black out here. Not even a... Mo well, eh, a little bit. But, um, whoa, crap. Um, man, oh man, stay on the road, will you, for crying out loud? Um, but anyway, like I was saying, yeah, we'll, we'll get that corn and then we'll, we'll, try, we'll turn around and plant another cornfield on that. And that should be sufficient for the, uh, oh, cheapers, creepers. We'll go around this way. Um, because we will need to get, I'll have to look at our, because uh, we will have to get um, barley and uh, sunflowers or whatever else we're going to um, get for the pigs as well. So basically we have um, lots to do, lots to do on that department. But, in other words, it, 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 you know, it's pretty much set. It's, it's set. It's, um, it's good. We are in good shape here. Whoa, make the turn. Whoa, that, whoa watch out for that thing. Um, come on. Let's see. I think it's around the back here, isn't it? Yeah, it's around the back. Um, but anyways, I'm going to unload this. I'm kind of curious what the price is. But they're, they're not going to tell me the price. But as soon as I start unloading here, I can check the price of soybeans real quick. Because um, if we get a little bonus income... That would be outstanding. What is the price of soybeans? Um, look at that. Um, thirteen hundred bucks. Why is this guy taking it to the um, one of the least priced uh, spots? Should be going to the uh, Port Northwest. But not my soybeans. Not my call. But we'll wrap up this field. We'll probably see you bright and early in the morning, and we'll get our uh, our corn done and get the animals squared away. And uh, that'll be it. We'll call her good. So we'll see you bright and early in the morning. Good morning, Biggin. How are you, buddy? You have food this morning? Oh, you want to play? No, I don't have time to play, buddy. I got things to do, man. Things to do. Anyways, we... Holy buckets, look at that sky. I think for the first time... What is going on with that? Um, <laughs> since I have been playing Farming Simulator 19, I have yet to see it rain. Um, maybe today I will get to finally see it rain, but look at that sky. That looks nasty. Holy buckets. That looks absolutely nasty. Uh, we finished up that field last night, and believe it or not, I think we had um, 570 uh, liters left in here of uh, soybeans that I couldn't get into the combine. We did successfully complete the uh, contract. Let's hop in the tractor here. I'm just gonna drop these off at the pigs. We're crying out loud. Um, where am I going? Wrong way. We did make some money, so overnight, plus the uh, contract, and we, I think we made like 2900 bucks from the soybeans that were left over. So we're about $31,000. I did spend 5000 because um, I had to buy a header trailer. You know what? I think that my... Whoops. I think that my um, tip side was screwed up there. There we go. I did spend $5,000 on a header trailer, so we would have had a little bit more. But not too bad. Not too bad. We're sitting at $31,000. So I think overnight we had $13,000 in property income. That's not too shabby. Um, so we are making money. We're not losing money each night. So that was kind of the main goal. So we don't have big interest payments. We don't have... Well, we do. Have, we have, what, 60000 I think. Um, but we're going to head down here to the cornfield, number 11. Our field that we bought. I think that... Um, Let's see. Now, let's take a look at that right now. Matter of fact, as my tractor keeps driving down the road here. Yeah, 60000 So, well, let's just keep 30000 There, you paid for half of it. So, we still owe 30000 on that. Um, I was hoping to have that paid off, but um, maybe we can do some more contracting work today and get that paid off. But otherwise, 30000 bucks. we are sitting pretty darn good. We are sitting pretty darn good. And we're going to get this um, all combined up. I think... After we get this combine started, I'm going to take a look at the job sheet, the contract sheet, and uh, we'll see. Maybe we can get some fertilizing done or something. Um, David, he, he's he's anxious to go to work, so we can make some money there, and then we can get that 30000 paid off pretty quick, because we will have to make up a little bit of money to um, 
uh, lease a uh, planter to get the to get the corn planted again. We don't have a thinking about it now. We don't have a cultivator. We don't <laughs> we don't have a planter. We don't have. Do we have? A, well, we have a we have a. Uh, yeah, we don't even have a uh, dry fertilizer um, spreader. Yeah, we don't really have much of anything. Boy, we're kind of we're kind of desolate farmers here on Felsbrin. Now that I think about it, yeah, we don't have much, we don't have much of anything for uh, field work. So I don't know what we're going to do there. Um, but job number one, let's get this corn harvested here, and then we can get this to the uh, piggies. That'll be good. Nothing wrong with uh, corn for the bacon. Corn for the bacon. But uh, then we'll have to figure out what we're going to do. Because we will have to um, get this. Uh, let me just uh, set GPS there. Because this, I'm assuming, will have to be um, plowed. Yep, so it needs to be plowed. Um, does it need to be limed as well? Um, yeah, so it needs to be limed and it needs to be plowed. Uh, weeds we don't have turned on anyways so we got a lot of work to do on this on this field because i don't think we have um well we have the two trailers we got the tractor the trailer we got the backpack sprayer we got the mowers we got the wind rower tether pickup wagon we got that 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 um well a lot of this stuff is from the other farm but it's still on here um so yeah, so we don't have any kind of equipment to do all this stuff. We'll need to get a um, lime spreader. We'll need to get a, uh, well, we could spray. We could just spray. We could do liquid fertilizer. We could do that, like a pre-emergence herb, or pre-emergence. Um, well, that'll be a herbicide. Um, yeah, we, we could do liquid fertilizer. We can. Uh, usually you do that with the planting anyway. So, but as far as um, planters go, let's see. <laughs> Because we need to do a corn, we need to plant corn. Um, the lemkin is not a bad bet because we could do, you know, in the old in the old days, FS seven FS seventeen, you could do anything with the lemkin. Um, so twenty six thousand, so thirty two thousand with the front tank. This is thirty thousand. The Vodderstead, um, thirty eight thousand with the front tank. That's all we would need. Actually, you could even go way down to the amazon we could even get the ant well that's 30 that's twenty seven thousand, and that's only um three meters where this would be double and for the same price so that's way overpriced uh how much is it to lease 1300 bucks to lease how much is this one to lease they're uh, same thing so we could actually just lease one for 1300 bucks um because already we with the next hour there we've now to, to three thousand bucks so um as time goes on here we probably could just lease something if we had to at least a bunch of equipment to get going, but um, yeah, I don't know. That it's 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 okay. It's okay. The, the farm is up and running. We got one new field. We got pigs. Oh yeah, we do have um, some wool there. I wonder if we have any wool. Does it tell you in the uh, in the animal thing here how much wool? Well, uh, twenty-two liters. That's it. That's all they produced. Um, that sucks. That sucks. Yeah, pigs are okay. Yeah, so. I was thinking we get more wool than that. I mean, how many sheep do we have for crying out loud? We've got um, um, 22, 32. We have 42 sheep, and that's all the wool that we've got? Ah, uh, we got to have more than that. Maybe that's the one they're, they're uh, working on now. I don't know. So, and what is wool prices? Matter of fact, let's just check wool prices. Um, thousand bucks and rising. Hey, there you go. Um, so we have a little bit of money there coming in. I, th I think there is more than 22 liters of wool in there. I, I would I would think so. Um, but hey, look at this yield. Not too bad. 3,000 um, liters already. But I'm trying to think what we should do. I mean, you know, uh, we're gonna we're gonna call our game over here. Um, I think on Fellsbrin. I mean, we we like I said before, we've we've done pretty much everything that we can possibly do in the game. I think um, you know from poplars to tree saplings to cotton to combining fields making we made all that huge field over there um we've had some fun we've had some fun and i think that Felsburn and ravenport get um, knocked a little bit um for maps but you know what all together they are decent maps with the landscaping tool changed everything i mean we created a little farm up there on the hill and we did that uh, we did that great but the problem lies is that um you know after a while it does get to be just um, the same old, same old kind of stuff on the map, and and um, 
that's all. We'll just have to wait. We'll just have to wait for um, maps to come out. And like I said, we could just keep doing what we're doing here. But um, in the meantime, just because I have um, an early access thanks to Alien Jim of Mercury Farm, it'd be kind of a shame not to do something something on there. Um, so, and the problem is that you, you can't do so many things at one time. I mean, it just gets to be the problem. And I think that's the problem that people have, I, especially I do. Um, you know, you start on a map, and then new maps come out, and you try to, you know, do everything at one time, and it gets just to be, oof, you know? Um, so, Felsbrin and Harrisfeld, that uh, golf cart jockey and I were doing, we talked about a little bit, a little bit ago, um, you know, he started doing something on Mercury Farm, so it just got to be um, just too much. So, with that said, I think Felsbrin and... Um, Hairsfeld will just have to go into the back pocket and call it a success. But I think it was a success. I mean, for crying out loud, um, we're making money. We're farming. We got some machinery. Got more to get. Uh, eventually, if we kept going. But um, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. It's not. It's not the best way that I would like to have um, ended it. But uh, you know, I mean, besides having a big tornado come through, rip up the farm, or. Uh, fire or you know something dramatic or win the lottery and make millions of dollars i don't know you know um it's just one of those things and i think that's what most people um do and they uh when they do maps and they go from map to map and uh you know transfer for one you play one for a while and a new one comes out and you get all excited about that and you do that for a while so that's just that's that's fair that is fair and um you know i think for most part people um you know, they're just kind of tired of uh, the Felsbrin and Ravenport. But there are still some fine and outstanding people uh, still playing them. I think, like, Mr. CDP, for example. Uh, he's doing both of them and doing an awesome job. I watch them every day. Um, I think DJ is still doing Felsbrin, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, of course, he has Mercury, too. So, I mean, that's... And, and, and the problem is Mercury might, might be a little bit overplayed. But um, you got to give it a shot. you got to give it a shot. It's an awesome map. It is an awesome map. So, we will... Um, We'll see what happens tomorrow morning. I hope you like it tomorrow morning. It's, uh, well, it might be something not, not that fancy, but it's just a little something to build different, and we'll give that a shot. But anyways, I sincerely appreciate you watching, Felsbrin. I really, really do. Uh, it means a lot. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you are still playing the map and, and finding, and finding um, enjoyment out of that as well. But anyways, thanks for watching. I sincerely appreciate it. You have yourself a uh, great rest of the Monday, and hope your week goes well. But as always... Keep me between the ditches. So long.